Wife had a one night stand, got herpes, I'm walking away. I'm posting my story today because over the past year and a half I have been a lurker on here and have read many of other people's stories. Trying to get some sort of insight or clarity, I thought would help me in my situation. There are a lot of heartbreaking stories on here, but also some of gems. I hope you can take something away from my story or that it can give you some sort of clarity on your journey through whatever it is you're going through. Back in 2018, at the end of July, my wife, 34F, left for a quick work trip on a Thursday and flew home Saturday morning. That evening my wife and I, 32M, went to my stepdad's birthday dinner, and nothing seemed off or anything, totally normal. Sunday we did our typical routine, grocery shopping, errands, and got ready for the work week. The following Monday when the work week started, everything seemed normal and we did our usual texting throughout the day but on my way home from work she texted me. I think I have a yeast infection and I'm going go get it check out. I said ah crap that sucks and I made a joke saying hopefully it's not an STD lol. She lol back and that was that. A few hours later, before I had seen her, she texted me and said your comment earlier about it being an STD was weird, you don't think I'm cheating on you, do you? I kind of laughed and text back no lol, but something about that comment, for her to say that, just put me off a little. Thinking nothing of it, I went back to whatever I was doing. Looking back, this was red flag number one. Two days went by and she said that it got worse and that she was going back in. I thought to myself damn, I feel bad for her because I know she has had something like this mildly before, but never this bad. When she came home from the doctor for the second time she said she said she now has thrush and a severe yeast infection. I remember thinking to myself, what the f is thrush? and she explained to me how it's a throat infection. I remember joking with her saying, well, if you're sick, stay away from me because I don't want to get sick, and I'm so glad I did stay away. Looking back all of this was red flag number two. For the next couple days and into the weekend she was pretty much bedridden. She called into work and did some work things from home that she could. I remember not getting too close to her those handful of days and just kind of looking at her while she was either in bed or on the couch and just feeling bad. She was clearly sick and there wasn't really anything I could do. The following week as she started to feel better, that's when I noticed something was going on with her. One day I came home from work and she was crying on the couch. I asked her what was wrong she said that she was going to start seeing a counselor. I was a bit puzzled, but I said okay and that if I was going to go too or if I needed to go. She said no and that she just hasn't been feeling herself and needed to talk to someone. I said okay. Red flag number three a few days later I get out of the shower and she's sitting on the bed crying again. I asked, what's going on? She said to me, is this as good as it gets? Is this what we want? I this what you want? Is this what I want? Is there anything more to life than this? I remember being a little caught off guard because it took a second to register what she was asking. I didn't really know what so say and I asked her, like what do you mean? She just responded with a never mind and I can't recount what happened after that. Then on August 14, 2018 at 9 p.m. we are getting in bed and she starts crying again. I ask her, what's the matter, and she starts crying even harder. I told her, I know something's been going on these last couple weeks, and whatever it is, I just want you to know I love you, and whatever it is we will work through it. She said, I can't tell you. If I tell you won't want to work it out. It was in that moment I started to feel the butterfly slash adrenaline or whatever you want to call it hit my stomach, and I said please tell me. Then, she hit me with it, I had a one night stand. It was in that moment all the ref legs, all the little things that were going on in those previous weeks all came together, like one big puzzle. Here's the story. When she was through with work for the day, she went to a bar to have a drink before going back to her hotel. She sent me a picture of the beer she was drinking, and I said the nightly love you good night. While she was at the bar she met a guy, with the same name as me, go figure. She ended up talking to him all night and having a few more drinks and they left the bar about 2 a.m. They went back to his house and where she then sucked his dick and then they has sex without a condom. I asked her if he see asterisk met in her, she said no and that he pulled out and did it on her stomach, 
but I don't know for sure. Turns out he had herpes and ended up giving it to her and that yeast infection and thrush in her throat was actually the herpes outbreak. I remember feeling absolutely heartbroken, devastated, shocked and in disbelief when she told me everything that had happened. I was pretty messed up for a few months following D-Day, so much that I had to get on meds for a while to get me straight. I knew something was physically wrong with me because I felt like total shit all the time and turns out I had a blood pressure of 149 to 127. No wonder I felt like crap. I would say we had a good marriage. We were everyone's favorite couple. My dad even called us Ken and Barbie. I'm just trying to give you some context because we were not dysfunctional or have some serious and obvious marital issue, but I guess what happened kind of proves otherwise. I remember when I told some of my close friends and family, everyone had the same wide-eyed look and the same are you serious response. Was a total shock to me as well as everyone that knew us? She's been going to a counselor this entire time and digging into everything of what happened. The whys, the hows, what's, all of it. She has me told she doesn't know why out of all the times she's been hit on by guys, why she gave in this time. It doesn't really matter though because what's done is done and all it takes is one time to bring a marriage crumbling down. She did say he made her feel wanted, gave her attention, and I guess validated her by telling her she was beautiful. If that's all it took, she has her own issues to deal with and unfortunately she wants adult enough to really get them out or say that something was really wrong before it was too late. I understand that it takes two to tango and I had a role in all of this, but I can't take any responsibility for the way she acted treated me, her, our marriage and the damage she has caused. I can though, understand where I should have been better as a husband. I should have been more attentive, more present, just more of whatever she felt she needed. Lessons learned. It's been over a year and a half, we are separated, but this is still a major roadblock for me in my life. I have chosen to walk away from her and our marriage, and I struggle because this is never what I wanted. She wants to stay together and make it work, but for me the damage is too great. Over this last year and a half I do think she has tried to do the right things to try to make it work, but with the STD involved, I just can't. With all of what happened and knowing the details, I just can't do it, and guess when I say I can't, I'm really saying I choose not to. For me, the disrespect is too great, the humility too much, an act that was just uncalled for, so selfish. It said, because she knows she ruined a perfectly normal marriage, and wishes she could take it back, and wants a redo, but she made her choices that night. Plenty of them that led her down that path. I don't think I'll ever understand how she could, leave the bar with him, get in his car, drive with him, get to his house, go inside, go into his bedroom. There are so many gates and red flashing lights and ringing bells in all that, it's just unbelievable, but she made every one of those choices. I've tried to be aware of my pride and keep it in check, and I ask myself why can I not move forward with her. For me it comes down to my values and beliefs and what has happened goes against everything I believe in and stand for, lots of cognitive dissonance. Then the whole herpes aspect that will never go away and will always be a constant reminder of what she did, and I choose to not put myself at risk of getting it. Mentally and emotionally, it's just too much. Plus, I just don't see her in the same light or view her the same way. I've lost the respect and admiration I had for her. There are a lot of layers to this onion, and it's crazy how something like this can change your entire life, physically and emotionally. Thanks for reading. I hope this helps you in some way. Keep your head up, you still have a life to live. Edit. Together since 2007. Married 2014. No kids not financially dependent on each other.